Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni. Friends, in this video, we are going to have a discussion of model question paper for semester BA Generic English under Bangalore North University. Before that, let me tell you one important thing, one important disclaimer. This model question paper I have prepared based on the model question paper of Bangalore University because I have not received any model question paper from BNU because the the novella, the first part, the novella differs from BU. So keeping in mind the Bangalore University model question paper, I have prepared Bangalore North University question paper, uh, Bangalore North University model question paper. So the first part that is novella, that's for 30 marks, thousand faces of night. Only this part is different from the BU syllabus. The remaining, the remaining syllabus is quite similar, remaining syllabus similar to the BU. So I will focus more on the thousand faces of night. Again, repeating, I have prepared this model question paper, keeping in mind the syllabus, keeping in mind the model question paper pattern of Bangalore University. So let's begin it. So the unit one may consist, the unit one may consist the 10 marks questions. The unit one may consist 10, mark, 10 marks question. And this unit one will consist here of five questions. Out of seven questions, you need to answer five questions, each for two marks. And you need to answer either in one sentence or the two sentence. <clears throat> so assumed questions, some important questions keeping in mind. Who is the protagonist of the novella, Thousand Faces of Night? Answer is Devi. Devi is fascinated by an Indian singer for his sincerity and devotion to work. Name the singer, that is Gopal. Why did Sita vow not to play Veena again in life? One day, her father-in-law called her for performing some works before puja in the morning. She did not hear because she was playing Veena. The father-in-law scolded Sita saying, put the Veena away. Are you a wife or a daughter-in-law? In an anger, frustration, she pulled out the strings of Veena and vowed that vowed that not to play. She, she decided that she won't play Veena in future. With whom does Devi relate the story of a girl who married to a snake? Devi correlates the story with the fate of the servant maid Gauri. Name the character in the story who is a Sanskrit professor, Baba, that is Devi's father-in-law is Sanskrit prof professor who used to narrate stories and myths to Devi in her childhood. That is Devi's grandmother. Grandmother used to narrate myths and stories in her childhood. So she was so much obsessed. Where is Devi sent to pursue her master's degree? Devi is sent to USA to pursue her master's degree. So like this, you may be asked seven questions. Out of seven questions, you need to answer five questions each for two marks. Now, the second part, the second part may consist, second part may consist three questions and out of three questions, you need to answer two questions each for five marks. So totally 10 marks. So here, question number one, describe the episode of Swamvara. So before her marriage, Devi's dreams of Swayambara for herself, she recollects her grandmother's story of Damyanti from Mahabharat. Damyanti's father held her Swayambara, that is she could choose her husband from the many princes who were invited from across the country to show their valor. Damyanti chose Nala, the king of Nishada, because he was virtuous and brave. So Devi's grandmother concluded the story with the moral, a woman gets her heart's desire by great cunning. Question number two, draw a brief character sketch of character sketch of Devi. Devi comes from an orthodox Tamil family. She is sent to USA to pursue her master's degree. After study, she gets married to Mahesh. She is influential by, the, by her grandmother. She does not really know what she wants to do in her life. Doesn't know what will bring her joy and in a pursuit of it makes one wrong decision after another. It's incomprehensible why she becomes a meek housewife from a foreign educated independent youngster. Devi is continuously on the run. First from America, from 
the person Dan who used to love her in US then from a mother then from her house then from her husband and finally from Gopal in search of something that she does not know it's a search for something she wants to do she has to confront her own problems and demons make her own choices only then her wandering will come to an end devi returns to madras with an american degree only to be sucked in by the old order of things a demanding mother's love a suitable but hollow marriage an unsuitable lover who offers a brief escape but the women of the age old past come back to claim devi through myth and story music and memory they show her what it is to stay and endure what it is to break free and move on so this is a character sketch of devi the main character of the novella the the thousand faces of night now read the chapter of mayama mayama is a character is a uh, mayama is a caretaker and cook at baba's house who is baba baba is the father in law of devi devi remembers her when she elopes with gopal her sad plight is connected to devi's life mayama is married away at a tender age of 12 to a drunkard and a gambler she knows no happiness from her husband who beats her and treats her as a garbage her mother in law is equally devilish she calls her a witch when mayama's baby dies after birth once in anger her, her mother in law throws burning red red spices on mayama's naked body the poor girl cries in pain her mother in law abuses her every day one day the goddess hears mayama's ever longing prayers and blessings her with a son raja two years after raja's birth her husband leaves her after taking her savings soon her mother in law also passes away cursing her even at her death uh, at her deathbed time moves on life curses mayama so hard that raja his son becomes a replica of his father he curses and beats his mother every day till he finally catches a fever till she finally catches a fever and dies till sorry till he finally catches a fever and dies so finally her son also dies despite her inhuman plight mayama serves her son till the end the day he died she wept as she had not done for years she wept for a youth her husband the culmination of her life's handiwork now all these had been snatched from her so these are the three questions for five marks so like this you may be asked three questions and out of three questions you may have to attempt two questions now the last section of novella thousand faces of night here two questions are given and out of two questions you need to attempt one question that is for 10 marks you need to answer in two or the three pages the essay type question comment on the women characters in the novella thousand faces of night Geeta Hariharan's novel The Thousand Faces of Night represents a variety of female characters mythological as well the novel also exposes the real consequences whichever the women are facing in the male dominated society the characters in the novel wanted to be an ideal woman but the society around them is expecting to be mothers wives and daughter-in-laws the complete novel is about the sufferings alienation and humiliation of the female characters to mix up the traditional structure geeta has also brought the mythological ideas and also tries to articulate the image of women with the help of epics such as ramayana and mahabharata and sanskrit stories the stories of the characters like devi sita mayama has been narrated by linking them to mythological characters the novel has a theme of grandmother styled art of telling art of storytelling technique that is story within a story technique the novel is woven around woven around three generations of women devi sita mayama 
Despite the generation's background and education, Indian women is made to fall on the trap of the old customs and traditions. Devi, the protagonist of the novel, a young educated girl with all American experience, married Mahesh. Because she does not want to hurt her mother's feelings, at this time, she also compares the relationship of her friends to their mothers. The mothers and daughters had a conversation about their boyfriends, they quarreled, they kissed. As the marriage happened under compulsion, Devi struggled a lot to cope up, to, sorry, to cope with, it's wrong, to cope with her own husband who is busy with his office stuffs and tours most of the time. Her marital, affair, her marital life led her to emotional breakdown which made her to get attached to Baba when the relationship reminded of her own grandmother as a role was taken by him in her, in her life. Baba's stories were related with reality. Devi, the main protagonist of the novel, experiences her homecoming. She is sucked into, the, into this fortress that shuts out the rest of the world, a cocoon, a secure woman, and holds me fast to its thick, sticky walls. Devi, though from the third generation connected to the second because of her mother, Sita, and to the first because of her grandmother, as she was the one who told her the mythological stories and Mayama. Devi recollects the story of Damyanti in Mahabharata, the Swayamvara held where Damyanti was brave enough and determined to choose Nala. She throws the garland around his neck. Devi's grandmother ends the story with a moral. A woman gets her heart's desire by great cunning. Through the story of Nala Damyanti, Devi gets fascinated and gets a clear establishment of Swayamvara. The stories are not easy for Devi to understand or to digest. So women in the Indian society have always lived under the protection of her husband or children and feel safer in this confined relationship. The confinement has made them slaves as they are dependent to them. The women characters in the novel are the victims under the patriarchal society. They have been trapped between traditions, old values, myths and modernity. Parvatima, Parvatima, Devi's mother-in-law, a woman of rare beauty, married at an early age, spent more and more time in puja room, doing puja and singing bhajanas. But one day she leaves her husband's house and never returned again. Never returned, Baba says. She has made a choice for a woman who leaves her home in search of God. Only death is a homecoming. The other character in the novel is Mayama, the housekeeper of Devi's in-laws. The That is Mahesh family. She is portrayed as an ideal female character. She cannot find any alternative choice but has to accept her fate. The society turned out to be more cruel to a woman like Mayama when she is abused by her own father-in-law and her husband. Later, her son turns against her and she has been deserted, she has been left alone, and finally, she moves to Parvatima's house. Mayama gets married with all blessings at the age of 12, but day by day, her mother-in-law's torture gets increased as she becomes more concerned about her jewel. As days passed by, as days passed by, Mayama is unable to get a baby. Her mother-in-law starts to complain and ask her to undergo a penance, a kind of tapasya. As time passed, she's blessed with a, with a son. Her husband runs away as, she, as he indulges himself more in drinking. He steals all the money and goes out of sight. Mayama's son, who is the only hope, behaved so rudely with her by asking money. But Mayama takes care of him. When he becomes ill with typhoid, with typhoid he remains in a bad condition and later he dies. Mayama has a soft feeling towards him as it clearly shows the motherly love of women in common. Mayama feels restless every time when her son in her son is bedridden, but later on she weeps from the core of her heart 
when she die when he dies she burns all the traces of her past along with the body of her son and left the village and come to mahesh house for shelter and becomes the house maid and caretaker of the house she narrates her story in pain and also she believes that her life is completely governed by gender she is ill treated by her husband finally she accepts a life and understands that women have to experience physical and mental pain because they are women sita devi's mother who sacrifices her happiness after marriage brings up a daughter as a single mother basically the in-laws will expect the bride to adopt herself with a new environment her father-in-law roars like a lion towards her for playing veena without completing her household works put that veena away are your wife the daughter-in-law sita hangs a body over the veena and then she pulls out the strings from the wooden base of the veena she replies that she replies her father-in-law yes i am a wife a daughter-in-law she never touches her veena again this is compared to the myth to the mythical character of gandhari in mahabharata who sacrificed herself and wore a black cloth with the intention of not seeing this world again as her husband was blind she has come across a lot of struggles in her life she decides to live her life after devi's marriage but unfortunately her wishes has been destroyed when devi walks away from her mahesh and returns to home devi finally returns to her mother to rediscover her true identity devi is depicted as an independent individual who does not fall prey to passive suffering the novel thousand faces of night also discusses about what a woman is generally considered to be in india it also portrays the condition of women caught between tradition and modernity hence the thousand faces of night represents a chain of events related to men and women love and death emotions as well as painful loneliness geeta hariharan also interposes with myth and folklore with the social status of women within the boundaries of time space and region the novel ends with devi's quest for identity as she decides to start her own and happy life this is how those women characters are portrayed in this novella or we can say this is how the feminism is also portrayed the feministic views or the feminism is also portrayed in this novella the thousand faces of night by geeta hariharan now let's move to the last question for 10 marks because you have a choice here out of two questions you need to attempt to one describe the narrative technique of storytelling story within story story within story with reference to the novella thousand faces of night the device story within story is not a very new tool that is invented by geeta hariharan it is just that she practiced it with dexterous and powerful strokes its roots its root lying deep in the history of such internalizing of the relationship between authors and the readers art and life for example rama listening to ramayana the canterbury tales hamlet seeing the play within the play epistolary forms the inter the interpolators of fielding and tristan shandy they are the examples to say about story within the story now as far as the this novel is concerned by adopting the narrative technique of story within story geeta hariharan like an astute artist leaves the indelible marks for the posterity to the tune that none among the indian writers in english could compete her in this race so applying this device in a first novel that is thousand faces of night geeta hariharan correlates the stories of devi sita mayama in order to bring alive the underworld of indian women's lives where most dreams are thwarted and the only constant is survival the opening of the prelude thus lays the foundation of this very tool where geeta hariharan says i have always liked the story that comes whole and well rounded and complete with annotation in this novel devi's grandmother her first teacher imparts her a secret knowledge through purposeful retelling of the tales of the forgotten women of the past 
लाइक Damyanti, Gandhari, Amba and Ganga. The tales of the mythological women narrated to Devi carry due weightage in themselves. For all these women, incidentally, carry a lot of fury in their life, protesting against injustices rendered to them by the virtue of unjust socio-political ethos and unreasonable and whimsical patriarchal norms. Therefore, nurture. Devi's psychological terrain to face these unreasonable norms and make a choice of her own. Also, the stories narrated by the grandmother are not the ordinary ones to amuse the kids. Each tale, each story is appropriately selected and narrated in response to Devi's query, so as to let her draw a parallel or a seek a derivation, deriv derivation in order to nurture and satisfy her curiosity. The stories are painful and at times shocking remedies to Devi's wounds. Moreover, Devi is not a silent listener of the tales. She raises many how and whys to her grandmother and the shocking and unbelieving responses help to bring out the true status of Indian women since ages. In the novel, as the story goes, Gandhari was given in marriage to Dhritarashtra the prince of hastinapur in her bridal in a bridal entourage she was much impressed by the refinement of culture and riches of the people of hastinapur but soon she realized that she was unjustly married to a blind man and in a pride and protest she tore a piece of cloth and tied it tightly over her eyes forever the story is narrated to devi when on having looked at a photograph of a mother playing veena she asked her grandmother if she ever played the one and in a reply through a through a very uh, through a very circuitous route the grandmother finally came back to amma's photograph and told how once having played the veena beautifully her mother gave it up for her only to become a beautiful dutiful daughter in law an ideal housewife having listened to the interpretation of gandhari's choice in its correlation to a mother's sacrifice devi says the lesson i learned was different it brought me five steps closer to adulthood so as the novel proceeds we come across another figure amba another character amba wrapped in the grab in the grab of wholesome story a female avenger who transformed the fate that overtook her into a triumph and avenged herself against her offender bhishma and yet another woman the angry ganga an epitome of female protest and pride who drowned her children and walked out of marriage when the terms of marriage were broken constitutes the very essence of the next story in the novel not less dashing in the is the story of damyanti's swayamvara the ultimate celebration of women's autonomy as the princess chooses to marry the man she loves even against the divine interference interference devi thus developed a mechanism of self defense against any onslaught she contemplates amma's story or maybe it was uma's made a deep impression on me like an irresistible horror film i they dreamed more and more about female avengers also baba baba's story that is her father in law baba's story also led devi before further into intricacies of hindu traditional thought and philosophy contemplating her grandmother's stories and empowering her to make choices of her own and the story of mayama that's a household caretaker life constitutes a saga of unrelieved suffering in in itself she merely accommodates all through her life she says i have learned how to wait when to bend my back when to wipe the rebellious eyes dry the third phase of the story in the novel thus culminates in the essence that every woman has to learn for herself and survival is the highest ideal in the struggle ridden life of a woman the lesson devi learns out of this all rejuvenates however a spirit of revolt in heroine's mind she feels cheated like gandhari slighted like amba suffers like the snake woman when her own life becomes a living hell in her husband's house 
she grows wild in her fantasies seeking an escape in her weird imaginations she says i had of course of course i had to respond to my grandmother's years of over rich unadulterated nourishment with a story of my own she now transforms herself into an active participant viewing viewing all the heroines as a source of over rich unadulterated nourishment and strives for her own story in a vision finally she says i was devi i rode a tiger and cut off all evils magical demons so now let's sum up this question here in key points the story within the story in this novel the technique of using story within the within the story in this novel tells about tells that mayama is a caretaker and cook at baba's house devi remembers her when she elopes with gopal her sad plight is connected to devi's mayama is married away at a tender age of 12 to a drunkard and a gambler she knows no happiness from a husband who beats her and treats her as a garbage her mother in law is equally devilish she calls her a witch when mayama's baby dies after birth once in anger her mother in law throws burning red spices on mayama's naked body the poor girl cries in pain her mother in law abuses her every day one day the goddess hears the goddess hears mayama's ever longing prayers and blesses her with a son raja two years after raja's birth her husband leaves her after taking her savings soon her mother in law also passes away cursing her even her deathbed time moves on life curses mayama so hard that raja becomes a replica of his father he curses and beats his mother every day till he finally catches a fever and dies despite all her inhuman plight mayama serves her son till the end the day he died she wept as she had done she had not done for years she wept for her youth her husband the culmination of life's handiwork now all these had been snatched from her so these are the stories within the stories so friends this is how i have solved the questions from the the novella thousand faces of night and i would like to say once again i have done i have the i have prepared those questions based on the model question paper of bangalore university bangalore university now you can watch the next part of this question paper now let's have a discussion of the 10 marks questions from the two important poems just a minute from the two important poems um <clears throat> wandering singers and the poem still i rise and the remaining ted talks now let's have a discussion so the first question why do the wandering singers sing about sorry what do the wandering singers sing about what is the theme of this poem the wandering singers have no fixed abode no house no fixed house they are forever on the road led to ever new places by the voice of the wind they just move with the voice of the wind whether they are traveling through streets or the forest the places echo with the songs they keep on singing these songs have many themes like cities that were once glorious but no more happy and beautiful women who died a long time ago old battles and the old kings so these are the different themes of those wanderers as can be seen all these themes have something pleasant beauty happiness glory or bravery and something sad about them that they belong to the past the wandering singers have no family and no home they consider everyone as a family and the whole world as a home they do not dream and plan the way other people do because their lives do not follow fixed regular pattern the destiny is as changeable as the changing direction of the wind they are not held back by love or happiness yet they love their wandering lifestyles they are very happy to keep traveling forever second question how is the theme of operation operation shown in the poem still i rise by maya angelo still i rise is an empowering poem about the struggle to overcome the prejudice and injustice it is one of maya angelo's most famous and the popular poems when read by victims of wrong doing 
the poem becomes a kind of of an anthem a beacon of hope for the oppressed and the downtrodden courage courage pride and injustice are some of the major themes crafted in the poem the poet speaks about the biting criticism of dark skin in society also she details how people want to kill them with hatefulness but the speaker is really proud of her identity which she expresses in various ways in the poem she openly challenges those who want to hold it down instead of wallowing in stress and fear she aims to live happy and confident life the third question what are the difference what are the differences between ted and the tedx the difference between ted talk and or the we can say the tedx talks <clears throat> just a minute what are the differences between the the ted talk and the tedx talk now we you have a table in front of you you, you can just go through this table here the the base if as far as the approach is concerned ted tz ted talks are ted talks refer to the global approach and the tedx refer to the local community approach as far as the licensing is concerned ted talks are independent they don't require any licensing tedx talks require licensing from ted production the production of the ted talks are, are are done by ted officials on the other hand the production of the tedx talks can be done by anyone who has this license and can host the show the speakers of the ted talks are very experts in their special field as far as the tedx talks are concerned the speakers don't require to be specialized or the expertise publicity ted talks always attract more large audience they are targeted to the large audience tedx talk are targeted to, to the smaller region or the smaller audience so these are the differences between the between the ted talk and the tedx talk so like this you'll be having here three questions and out of the three questions you are going to opt here two questions remember two poems in the two ted talks so here two questions you need to opt now we are moving to the next segment here section 5 where you are going to, where you will be asked here three questions uh one question from pecha kucha and the one question from group discussion script writing so out of these three questions you are going to opt only and only one question weightage is 4 5 marks now prepare a pecha kucha presentation text keeping the following images so the images will be given on your question paper in your question paper so based on the image you need to develop pecha kucha text so let me tell you a brief description see pecha kucha presentation is very practical um the format of pecha kucha presentation is here you should have 20 images and each image should be given 20 seconds of talk so the total duration of pecha pecha kucha is 6 minutes 40 second so this cannot be tested in your question paper so in your question as far as the examination is concerned you need to develop the pecha kucha presentation text or we can say the transcript or the dialogues what are you going to talk about those images so this image this presentation is about cat versus dog so uh, you can go through the text here i'm not going to read the text you can go through a text here that for each image you need to write particular dialogues particular script it's very simple don't get confused you need not write very high fi uh, very to bombastic in language very simple language write about each image one one paragraph number of images which are the number of uh, at least 6 7 paragraphs you can mention because the duration is 6 minutes 40 seconds right so this so these are the dialogues which i have written here you can go through the another slide also which speaks about uh, cat versus dogs so like this you need to draft the you need to write the script in your own words so here your your command or english language and your creativity simple guidance i would like to say here write in simple english simple to the simplest one 
without any grammatical error. Next, you have here the more slightly difficult, I would say, uh, you need to write the group discussion um, script here. So there's a question here, group discussion, conversation on increased men-animal conflict. So you, you need to write the dialogues again, dialogues in the sense that how, what the A, B, C, D, imagine there are four or four the five people, you give a name. I have not given any name here. I have given the numberings like A, person A, person B, person C, D. So you can look at, you can begin the dialogue saying, in my opinion, according to me, I agree, I disagree. So it's again, it's left to you how creative you make it. If you can look at on your screen here that the what the person B say, what the person C says here. You can disagree. You can also mention that I disagree with the opinion of the member B or member A or B, C like C, D, E. So you can mention about five persons and the five persons dialogues because this question is for the five marks. So you can develop the five persons content about the topic for the GD. Remember, you are writing whatever you would like to speak. Same thing you are converting into the writing skill or into the content. So keep in this mind and you can easily develop the draft or the uh, script for your group discussion. Keeping in mind that there are four or five people. How would they react? How would they say? Next question, similarly, you have a question here, write a group discussion conversation on T20, cricket is more entertaining than ODI. So you decide that either you are talking about cricket uh, T20 format or you're talking about the ODI format. So you can use a word like I think in my opinion, according to me. So I took here four persons like person A, then person B, person C and person D. So like this four or five persons can have in this group discussion topic and you can develop your dialogues, you can develop your script. So there's no any hard and fast rule that you should write in this manner or that manner. Imagine you are standing on the stage and what would we talk on this topic? Just write the same, whatever comes in your mind. Keeping in mind only the two things, keep the words or the sentences simple. Don't do any grammatical error. Now the next section, Again, you have here, in this section, you have three questions. Again, out of three questions, you are going to opt one question. These three questions, one question will be from circular, circular writing, another is travel writing, and the next one is here, article writing. So you have one question. You are the manager of Rainbow Software Company. As the instructions of the management, you need to inform the employees of the company about revised working hours of the company from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. instead of 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So draft a circular to convey the message to the employees regarding this. So it's a circular writing. So with reference to your textbook, with reference to your textbook, I'm going to follow the textbook format. So first, the address who is going to receive. So two, all the departments, then date, then uh, who is writing the writer and the manager the the manager rainbow software company bangalore subject what is the subject of the circular revised working hours then body of the circular this is to bring to your kind notice that the management has decided to change the working hours of the company in the board of directors meeting it has been decided that the working hours will be from 9 a.m to 4 p.m instead of 10 a.m to 5 p.m all are requested to abide it. It will be implementing from 1st September 2023. Regards, Divakar, Manager, Rainbow Software Company. So follow this format for any circular writing. Right. Let's move to the next question. Draft travel writing on your visit to Lalbagh in Bangalore. So let me again give you some instructions here. Don't get confused. Travel writing, they will ask you simple place which might be very much known to you. Not very, they won't ask you that have you visited Kashmir, etc. So simple, simple place. Just mention when you started your traveling of this place, what, what are the different places you have seen? Remember the days in your school, they used to say that the, the place I visited in my past, how you used to write, simple way you write here as well. So it's not a very great question. Only I would say here, um, the business jargon has been used here like travelogue or the travel writing. 
So I've written here my visit to Lalbagh. You can go through it here. Once I wasn't on official trip to South, I reached Bangalore from Chennai. So how I reached, which other places I watched, what was my uh, some sort of historical significance, some sort of other knowledge. You can bring it out. You can just mention here. So like this, I have tried to gather the information and I have tried to uh, draft my uh, travel writing. Okay. Now, next question is here, article writing again. So article writing on traffic violations to publish in a weekly magazine. You want to publish your writing, your piece of writing in one of the magazines or the newspaper. How would you write? How would you write? So you start with a good opening of the of your writing script and you also end it. So generally you might have seen in the magazines or in, in the newspaper when the uh, the first letter of the first word will be having more font size than the other letters. So you can you can go through the script here. It's about violations of the traffic rules. So you can go through the, the script. That's going to help you a lot. So dear friends, this writing skill does not have any special features. I would say as far as my experience says here, it is a creativity of individuals that how do you write? And how do you make it more impressive? Next. Next section you have here. Next section, I would say, uh, yeah. Um, next section, answer any one of the following questions. Again, here, three questions are given. Email writing, three questions are given. E one email writing and the two letter writings. So remember in your syllabus, you have congratulations email, uh, then you have congratulations email you have then um i would say apology email apology sorry apology letter appreciation letter congratulation letter and the email writing so you can attempt any one question whichever you wish so we have a question what is casual email or casual mail draft a casual mail to your friend inviting him to your birthday party so meaning of casual mails Casual mails all can include idioms and slang. Very simple. In both formal and casual emails, it's important to be brief, dire direct, and positive. And you might achieve this in different ways. So you can look at here the format, the two recipient email address, subject, birthday party invitation, and salutation, dear Hemant, Hemant, you are inviting Hemant. So hope you are doing well. I'm also fine. How about your studies? I miss you so much. I met you a long time ago. However, we are going to meet you very soon. As you may know, I'm getting 17 on next Monday. <clears throat> Hence, my family members, my family members have decided, uh, sorry, have decided to celebrate a birthday party on the above mentioned day. I have met, I have invited all my class friends, Shahid, Rohit, Shriya, Mohit, Muni, Danish. They're all coming. However, without you, my dear friend, the party will feel like empty and charmless. To make the party delighted, your presence is mandatory. You are cordially invited, cordially invited to join the party. Please be on time. The party is going to commence at 7 p.m. We'll have dinner together. Most of all, we will be having a lot of fun. It will be a memorable experience. experience. Looking forward to see you, your friend, Satish. So, Two recipient email IDs, subject, salutation, body of the email, then complimentary close, signature. So this is the format of the email writing with reference to your textbook. You have successfully completed the cycling tournament. Next question. Organized in your college, write letter of letter of appreciation letter to, to your team member for outstanding support in the tournament. So you are going to write here appreciation letter. Remember. The format of the letter writing, don't forget. Uh, first, send us name and address. So Ramesh, team captain, XYZ club, date 16th August 2023. Receiver's name and address, Mahesh, team member, XYZ. Then salutation, dear Mahesh, subject, appreciation letter, body of the letter. I heartily appreciate the way you have shown the team spirit and completed the cycling tournament. I wish you. I wish you would show the same passion and dedication in the future events and you will set an example for others too. I wish you good luck for the future endeavors. 
your truly yours truly ramesh so format remember send us address then date receive us name and address D salutation dear sir madam subject then we have the body of the letter then complimentary close yours truly yours faithfully name and signature next question you are the head of the government higher primary school shimoga one of your student has got first rank in the 10th board examination write a letter of congratulation to your student so appreciation letter next is here congratulation letter so same format we are following here head government higher primary school shimoga date then the name of the recipient shrikant gowda mr shrikant gowda subject congratulation letter congratulations mr shrikant gowda for securing the first rank and brought laureate to our school we heartily congratulate you and your parents for this great success you have brought a great fame to your school your success story will set an example to our students and they'll walk on your footprints we would like to felicitate you felicitate you on 1st september 2023 kindly come to school with your parents wish you good luck for future endeavors sincerely head government higher primary school so it's the same format so this is the section 7 which consists email writing and two letters apolo two letters you have appreciation letter congratulation letter and apology letter last section of your question paper blog writing writing on facebook and writing on quora quora platform you need to attempt only one question so again here attempt writing a blog so here i'm not going to give you the the cooked up answer here so what i did here i have borrowed i have borrowed i have sourced i have borrowed some original blogs from internet by mentioning the source so you have blog here write a blog on recycle and reuse so dear friends i have borrowed i have uh, borrowed this blog from a particular blog of cecily zu courtesy and i also mentioned the source from where i have you can also go through the source so just go through this blog here it's very simple very informal again again blog writing is not a great deal i would always say that write whatever you would like to write if you post on a particular blog if you post on a particular website uh, which is run by a particular blog or any company that becomes a blog writing a content on the blog and read by the people which gives you a lot of remarks and content that's a simple strategy of blog writing so you can go through the script it's very simple written in a very simple way generally in the first person because you are sharing your experiences generally in the first person so you can go through it next again facebook writing on facebook writer attempt writing on facebook on your favorite movie review watched recently so you have seen number of times that you read lot of movie reviews when you go to the theater what do you think about the movie about the script about the writer about the direction about the cinematography about the song about the 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 opening of the movie closing of the movie so these things we go through it and we critically we analyze it so i have tried to again uh, i have again taken up this source from facebook where it's mentioned it's mentioned here uh, with a senseless plot ultra loud performances and several over the top gags double dhamal registers itself to the list of most unsuccessful sequels in bollywood give it a miss will you still watch this film so your movie review should be quite more catchy more interesting and more appealing so your writing skills going can really bring a change the mindset of the reader so this is how you can write on the facebook platform in the examination you just write down a paragraph about any movie review i have just tried to give you a live example by extracting uh, this image from the facebook page of movie reviews next attempt writing on quora on best online shopping sites let me tell you what is quora quora is again a platform where you can ask any questions and the people who are logged in quora 
they will answer to your questions they will guide you so it's like a reciprocal it's like a sharing the information so again you can be very much formal you can be informal so again uh, i mentioned the source here by following this source i have um, i mentioned the 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 answer by anas gondeka about his question uh, about this answer that which are about the answer here, which are the best online shopping sites so you can go through this answer how anas has answered this question by mentioning the different shopping sites and giving some more uh, answers some more uh, some more examples about it so you can also go through i would suggest you to go through the quora websites different answers how the answers are given again if somebody ask you the question how would you answer it and you have the answer you put this answer you just uh, uh, post this answer on the quora website you log in you become member of the quora okay so this this is how you can be a proficient writer you will be thinking that i have not given you the ready made answer the reason is you should have the you should have the live uh, the i would say that you should have the experience otherwise you won't learn how to write on facebook and how to do the blog writing and, and how to write on the quora platform so these this is how uh, i have tried to solve this fourth semester um, generic english question paper four semester b a generic english qu question paper i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video click on the like button write in the comment box and uh, all the lessons of your fourth semester ba i already done the videos and all the lessons um, my videos links i have posted in the description box you can go through it so i wish you success in your examination may good luck be in your favor and your preparation bring fantastic outcomes thank you so much for watching this video